But now, the latest on the Millennium Bug with Peter and Philippa. Indeed, and Gabby, we mustn't forget that with all this excitement going on, there are some very, very worried people all over the world. The Millennium Bug, has it struck or hasn't it? 25, 35 minutes from now, we'll know what's happening in this country, what's happened over all the rest of the world. Those bugs are going to crawl all over our computers and make the planes fall out of the sky. Are they doing it or not? Well, now, let's look at our bug watch map. Here it is, and the big threat really seems to be in Japan. Nothing much has happened in Southeast Asia, but when you get to Japan, the bug seems to have struck, possibly struck, in two places, two really rather serious incidents uh, at Ishikawa and Onagawa, both of them nuclear power plants. At Ishikawa, and the radiation monitoring system has failed uh, just outside the actual nuclear reactor itself. That happened at midnight. It hasn't been put right. They don't know whether it's bug-related. At the Onagawa power station, alarms sounded after midnight, but they seem to have put that right. Also in Japan, 38 earthquake seismic sensors seem to have failed since midnight. Again, they can't be sure whether that is bug-related or not. Now, there was a big scare all over the rest of Asia, by the way. There's no sign of any uh, bug-related damage at the moment, although, of course, it's very early days. People don't get back to their offices till Monday or Tuesday. We can't be sure things aren't happening all over the world behind the scenes. But one really big scare happened when the Russians fired three Scud missiles from southern Russia into Chechnya, just here. And the Americans immediately asked the Russian, uh, their Russian counterparts to the NORAD headquarters of Colorado Springs, where the Americans and the Russians are meeting together, and they said to the Russians, what's this? And the Russians said, don't worry, it's not bug-related. These are local tactical missile firings at Chechnya. So that is not a serious problem as far as the bug is concerned, although it must have caused untold havoc in Grozny. Now, here we have Turkey, <clears throat> and in Ankara, we understand that they had to reset the pipeline computers dates because the pipelines were reading 1999 they weren't sure that those pipelines are still going off to go on the, the Iraqi Iraqi oil pipeline if the 2000 if the double O date came up they weren't sure so they switched it back to 1995 to be sure <clears throat> all the rest of Western Europe still no sign of any activity of course uh, in Italy great questions Italy was the last really to prepare for the for the bargain there are worries there no sign yet that there are serious problems there there's the midnight line approaching us we'll know about Britain very soon the only other important event uh, that seems to have happened so far is that in Ottawa, the Canadian capital, <clears throat> apparently the uh, local Defence Department experts there have decided that the excess keys to the Defence Department's secret safes and so on aren't safe enough to use because they haven't been made bug compliant. A sign that even in a place as sophisticated as Ottawa, they haven't yet got themselves sorted out just minutes before the vital time comes. Philippa. Well, so, as Peter said, just over half an hour to midnight here in the UK. And they are gearing up for possible bug pro problems at the government's Crisis Command Centre in Whitehall. The BBC's Stephen Evans is there. So, Stephen? Philippa, um, behind me you've got representatives of all the government departments here and they're waiting anxiously, the Department of Health, the DTI, the Treasury, all that kind of thing. But I have to say, that what they're telling me is not a... Not a twitch from the bug, not a tweak. They don't expect it, really. Certainly no sign so far. Now, this is the latest uh, government bulletin, and it says, bold letters, there have been no millennium bug problems reported today uh, in the UK. But just to emphasize what you were saying before, they're also getting information from the embassies, British embassies all around the world. And if you go down the list, South Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, Malaysia, Brunei, Manila, no sign from the embassies here. So either the, gov um, the bug is dead, or it's dormant, or perhaps, who knows, it was never there really in the first place. Well, that's the official line that you've given us there. What, what does it actually feel like? Do they feel like they're confident there? Uh, you do get the sense that they are confident. Um, all the people say that preparation had to be done, and that's why there will be no problems after midnight. Of course, we won't know whether the millennium bug is actually there until the millennium. And in some senses, you won't really know until we all go back to work, because there are two okay. sorts of millennium bugs, if you like. There is the bug in people's computer where the date changes to 2000 and the computer can't quite work out what that is. But there's also a kind of a virus which malicious people put into computers and we won't know if those viruses are in until people go back to work and log on and open documents which have been sent to them. Okay, now Stephen? some very big corporations have decided to take no um, risks with that so they're actually using faxes over this midnight period. Stephen, at the thank moment, you very much. We'll this bug doesn't seem to be there. Thank you very much, Stephen. We'll be back with you later talking more about the Millennium Bug and keeping track of what's happening in the UK. Michael.
That was from one millennium bug to find out about more. And I have to say, you get the best top of the she whole does. show, <laughs> Philippa <laughs> Forrester. <laughs> Great top, girl. Thank you very much. Tell us about the bug, please. <laughs> Tell you about the bug rather than my top. <laughs> Nearly three hours into the new year and Bug Watch is still on duty. So, looking around the world, the trouble is there's not a lot happening. We have, there's the world. Moving into Japan, we had a couple of incidents in Japan. Um, they were the worst hit, but by minor problems in nuclear monitoring power stations um, and the failure of a computer which handles flight information for small planes and helicopters. Though it's not confirmed, all those incidences are thought to be bug related. Across the rest of the world, moving Southern Asia, the Middle East and Europe, governments are sounding a cautious all clear. And that's true here in the UK too. So far, there don't seem to be any problems here at all. But we must stress that we are only three hours into the new millennium. And I think, well, we all think that problems could hit when everyone goes back into their offices because no one's there at all at the moment. So that's the bigger picture. That's what's happening around the world. What's happening in our homes? What's happening around you now? Well, things like your appliances in the kitchen, microwaves, toasters, kettles, all the rest of it, they don't care what data is, so they shouldn't be affected at all. This computer, look at this. We've kept this running, and it's gone to the 1st of the 4th, 1980. That's because it was built in the 80s, and the earliest date it can think of to go to is the 80s. So, sorry, that's the 4th of January it's gone to 1980. So that's the earliest date it knows and it's gone to 1980. If you have any problems with your computer, probably the best advice we can give you is to get in touch with your manufacturer. Your PC should still work though. Fingers crossed. Now, we did dredge up this antique video recorder and it seems to be working fine. In fact, search though we did, we've not been able to find a video recorder that is affected by the bug. But if you're unlucky and yours is, Try resetting it to today's date in 1973. That's our top tip, because that year had the same days of the week as the year 2000. Now, obviously, this isn't a perfect solution. It doesn't take into account leap years, but it should still record most of the programs you want it to. OK, that's all, I think, from us at the moment. Thank you. I have to say, um you're, you're, worrying, you're worrying Jamie a lot. Because what's, what's the matter? He's like? hysterical when it's he just sees that bug. bug that you have on the back of the screen. I can see it over the back of my shoulder, and I, find, I just find it quite disconcerting. And there was me thinking you were worrying about something electrical. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Marty McCutcheon had the Millennium Bug. Did she? Yeah, she filthy flu. She had everyone. Everybody she was, had I was very it. worried about And poor uh, Peter Snow. Well, he's gone to bed now for a well-deserved sleep, I think. Absolutely. We'll see him again in the morning, but his voice... Oh, he hardly yeah. had a voice, did he? Yeah. Everybody's been coughing and splattering everywhere. We share, yeah. <laughs> we share them. Absolutely. Right.